Have you guys seen this? This is fucking, this is one of the best things ever because I think we all have had the same feeling before when we've been on the plane. This guy is absolutely amazing. Pick up this absolute legend of a guy, man. Salute to you, wherever you are. Hopefully you're out of jail. Pattern for weather, and an SW a passenger loses his mind over a baby. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not seeing this and you're watching this or you're listening to this via the podcast, this is a guy. There's a guy on a plane hearing a baby screaming, <laughs> and he's fucking screaming at the baby or the parents or anybody that's listening, and he is mad. And legitimately, this rant is one of the best rants I've ever heard in my entire life because we've all felt like this when we've been sitting on a plane, but we're too polite or we're too pussy to say anything. We're too scared. We don't want to get chucked off the plane. But this guy is our spirit animal. He is my spirit animal. He is our spirit animal. Oh, we're there. And you can't put your fucking finger in my face like that. Calm the child down, please. I had headphones on. I was sleeping. Why is the baby yelling? I'm not screaming. You want me to scream? You want me to scream? Don't fucking scream. Please stop the baby. Please. Please. That child was a black baby. What the fuck would be happening right now? Hear him. If that child was a black baby, this wouldn't be happening. I feel bad for fucking playing into the race card with fucking Jonathan Majors. And this guy is saying if that was a black toddler, they would have what? Chucked the baby off the plane. Like, what's he trying to say? <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? He's saying the baby is privileges because it's white. That's why he's screaming. I don't know. <laughs> exactly black babies don't cry <laughs> they go through enough pain day to day in it they don't cry <laughs> oh to be fair though when i was younger my my parents didn't they don't really indulge you in letting you cry you know i mean they beat the cry out of you so maybe that's what he means but oh my god it's amazing no, you're not going there. You're not going there. I'm fucking going. We're not in Florida yet. You can't do what the fuck you feel like. I was sleep the whole time. You haven't served me anything. Now, I'm to keep my calm, but if I wasn't. Now he's complaining about not getting water. I love this guy. Because there's a child crying on the flight, non-fucking stop. That's what's happening. Can you lower that voice? No, that's not. No, no. It's funny because he's screaming at the baby to shut the fuck up, <laughs> and then the baby is now scared and screaming even more. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's scared for his life. <laughs> so the baby's crying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mommy, this black man wants to eat me. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 Let's be rational. Right. Right. Hold on, hold on. You want to be rational? Right. Right. No, 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 no. Don't tell me what you're talking about. Let's be rational. Right. Right. We are in we are in a fucking tin. And that's his wife next to him. Look at the wife. She is distraught. She is tired. She's exhausted. She is at the end of her tether. She's done. That's a that's an exasperated wife there. <laughs> the wife can't do nothing. The guy's already turned up. Okay. With a baby okay. in a goddamn okay. echo chamber, okay. and you want to talk to me about being fucking okay? Okay, okay because you're, you're yelling. So That's is the baby. baby. Okay, so you're a man. Did that motherfucker you're pay extra to you? Okay, no. <laughs> that exchange. You're yelling. So is the baby. <laughs> Did that motherfucker pay more to yell? Good point, sir. Good point. Oh. Oh my god, my fucking face. I swear to god. Um how does it work out anyway with babies when you fly? Do do, do do they get a reduced fee or is it the same price ticket? To be fair, I always I I I 
my hot take is taking taking a kid under 10 on a flight is a form of child abuse. Checking a child under 10 years old on an airplane is a form of child abuse. <laughs> That's my hot take. I swear to God, it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. If you need to go on a flight, the kid stays at home, home alone style. Figure it out. Here's some, here's some macro lasagna. I'll be back in a week. Oh, fuck you and shut up. I don't give a fuck. You were, you were sitting there watching that motherfucking baby cry for 45 minutes. Okay. Okay. That shit didn't have nothing to do with nothing. Lower your voice. Fuck, lower that baby's voice. Lower your voice. Lower that baby's voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, Natashki, I don't, I, I, I don't hate kids. I just think they should be. I, 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 I don't hate kids. I just think they should be. Um, there's a time and a place. <laughs> I don't think kids. I think there's a time and a place. <laughs> oh, anyway. This guy's amazing. I love him. Okay. okay. I a grown ass man. It's out like there. We'll have I'm sorry, y'all. Get the fuck out of me. I'm sorry. The wife. Look at the wife. I'm triggered. Fuck that baby. <laughs> I'm triggered. Fuck that. Look at this baby. I just want to know, right? We have some people in the UK also. Usually, the issue that we have a lot here on flights is usually people that drink too much. Because for some reason, you know, I'm sure it happens in where you are at. Our airports have fucking, you know, pubs inside of them. And you could have a beer basically 24 hours around the clock if you want to. And they're always full before flights. And especially when they go in, the, you know, a lot of people in the UK here go on like low cost flights to Europe, parts of Europe and stuff to go and have, you know, more booze and more drugs and what more, whatever. So people usually get a lot of people usually get drunk or high a lot. But usually people try and keep their antisocial behavior or craziness to a level because they don't want to get chucked off the plane. But I see so many videos of American people like happy to get into arguments at the airport or on airplanes, knowing that the consequences are quite harsh. You could get arrested. You could get blacklisted. Like, you know, you have to book another flight. Like these are like pre- harsh flipping consequences of you having get into an argument with a flight attendant why are these guys and girls so willing to get into an argument like with flight attendants maybe it's a kind of just a pride of like no i'm right and what i'm saying but in the uk you don't really get that people get fucked up don't get around you get you get fucked up you get drunk and stuff but you try and keep it under wraps but you're not going to get into a an argument with a fucking flight attendant or whatever or shout at somebody or get into a fight it doesn't happen that way what happens here? Honest um, entitlement. Honestly, that guy is just vocalizing our internal dialogue whenever a kid is screaming. True, exactly, Uche. Um, you might not decide this as entitlement. I wonder what it is about Americans where they don't mind getting into arguments. Because legit, I've seen you guys have like fucking, what do you call it? Airport marshal guys. They come, like actual officers and arrest you with handcuffs and shit. It's real. You go to jail. Do you know what I mean? It's not a crazy thing. Um, oh, Tr Trick says, we don't have trains in America, dog. Not many anyway. Okay, cool. I think everyone's emotions heightened on the plane. We think our freedom travels everywhere with us. Yeah, true. But okay, fair enough. It's just interesting. Like we we have a lot of, don't get me wrong, we have our issues too. I can find you many clips. I can find you many clips of people here in the UK who travel on Ryanair and EasyJet and all these kind of low budget flights to Europe. And you see guys fucking cutting up lines and sniffing and shit cocaine on the fucking airplane. You know what I mean? <laughs> Having parties and playing songs on their fucking phone on loudspeaker. Like, we go a bit crazy on our flights too. So we have our issues. So I'm not talking from a point of privilege. No good, no fucking problem. I know an attorney just like you. Oh, the fuck, I got rights. Now we work it the fuck out. We had to go through all of that. It's worked out now. <laughs> Heading to Orlando now. Thank <laughs> you.
He's refusing to get off the plane. <laughs> so now we're all getting deplaned. To be fair, if that's me, oh, look at the wife. God bless her. Look at the wife, man. So embarrassed. She just wants to die. She wants the ground to just open up right now. God almighty, look at her. To be fair, like, if that's me, right? And I'm fucking, um, yeah, you're scaring the baby. So it's like you're scaring all the hoes away. Uh, if that's me and I make this fuss, you made your fuss, you made your point. Now get off the plane and let everybody continue on. Get, you know I mean, making everybody, de you know, deplane is a bit crazy. Like causing everybody delays for your fucking argument. Get into an argument, say your piece, stand on your shit. But then, you know, gracefully, okay, cool. I, I lost the fight, but the war continues. You just kind of keep it moving. But staying on a plane and refusing to get off, that's a bit, that's a bit much. He tried to plead his case that he had a right to yell because there was two adults with a crying baby and he shouldn't have been disturbed. <laughs> Imagine a police officer having to deal with this. How many police officers are there? How many police are there? Like five police officers. <laughs> oh, five police officers. Sorry, sir. What did what happened? Sorry, sir. You what? You got into a fight with a baby. <laughs> Run that by me again. <laughs> <laughs> he got into a fight with a baby. But you don't understand. The baby was screaming. But sir, it's a baby. Yeah, and I paid my ticket like that little bitch did. <laughs> that little bitch got more rights than me. You're telling me a baby, a white baby got more brass than a black man? <laughs> You got me, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. You think a baby got more rights than me? <laughs> Y'all gonna learn today. Y'all gonna learn today. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, actually, let's see the end. I should put to play the end. Let's see the end, the end, the end, the end. <clears throat> well, that's probably not how his wife imagined their Florida getaway going. <laughs> Okay, so at least he didn't get handcuffed. He gets escorted out of the, out of the prison, out of the airport. Um, <laughs> he's probably get told to cool down, have a coffee, sir, please, and come back tomorrow. So hella, hella embarrassing. Um, big up to the wife. I can't imagine how embarrassing that was for her to check out. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. What a fucking legend, honestly.